So we're here to launch the 2016 NatWest Rugby Force campaign going forward at Market Harbour. I've got a bit of coaching to do with the kids. Um, I'm sure with the beautiful weather conditions outside, I won't get at all muddy. Um, but no, it's just a great place to be. Grassroots Rugby is where we all started, certainly me um, as a young man. It's where I began, so great to come back to a place like this. We're, we're trying to engage grassroots rugby again. You know, I think the World Cup did such a great job of, uh, of opening up everyone's eyes to, to the game of rugby, you know, and, and NatWest and the Rugby Force programme is about giving them the opportunity for more financial support, whether it's uh, workshops come down here given by various different England members or players, um, giving some mentoring advice to the guys here and saying this is how you can best look after your, your facility. It's just trying to help improve grassroots rugby and keep maintaining that momentum from the World Cup and getting more engagement from, from people and players. I think Eddie Jones' appointment is a very exciting one. Um, I think certainly having played against his sides in the past, you know, what you, what you, what you should expect from, from a side that Eddie is going to be coaching, certainly hopefully this England side now, is that they'll play an intelligent brand of rugby. The player pool that England have, you know, not just the existing players and the talented players that are in the side currently, but you know, beyond that, the young guys coming through, those guys that possibly missed out of the World Cup selection, you know, the under-20s England side that are producing you know, just exciting players left, right and centre at the moment. So going forward as, as an England fan I am now, it's, uh, it's a great period of time and I think you know, we should we look forward to the Six Nations of excitement. It's good to see Brendan O'Connor being looked at. You know, I believe he's a, he's a talented individual, you know, without wanting to overhype someone that's, that's not been involved uh, in the English setup. Um, I think he's certainly a talented individual that should be included in the EPS squad. Um, and then beyond that, you know, there's the Wallaces, the Frasers, um, the Atojis. There, there's a lot of guys that, that are out there and available. They need to put their hand up and deliver. Brendan's certainly been doing that. Um, so I think his inclusion will be, will be an interesting and exciting one as well.